Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about quadrilaterals map. So we are going to create this map inside of our head. And this map helps us to navigate between um, quadrilaterals. So if we have a quadrilateral and we add for this quadrilateral some property, what will, uh, what will, what will be formed? What is the new quadrilateral after adding some properties? So this video is to help you solve um, what kind of quadrilateral is that? First, and before we dig into more details, quadrilaterals are uh, any geometrical shape that have four sides and four angles, and they are divided into like uh, two trees, if you can, say, if we can say that, and the first one, uh, which is the parallelogram, and then goes all the other quadrilaterals, rectangle, rhombus, and square, and that trapezoid in which we have um, the trapezoid, the isosceles trapezoid. Also, we have the right trapezoid, and we have the quadrilaterals with no specific name. Okay, so this is a general uh, look, but we are going in this video to talk about specially these four quadrilaterals, parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and the square. So how to prove quadrilaterals according to some uh, given information. Remember, this video does not tell you the properties of each quadrilateral, but it tells you how to prove the nature of quadrilaterals. Okay, first we are going to start with the parallelogram and in my opinion it's the most important one to know how to prove it and understand it very well because it's the base. Okay, it's the base floor and now we are going to build uh, up on it. So how to prove a parallelogram? The first way is both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So this pair, this, this side and this side form a pair. So uh, this, these two must be parallel and these two must be parallel. So two things to prove. This is the first way. Or both pairs of opposite sides are equal. Also both pairs. So we have to prove two things. This, the first pair, we should prove them equal. And then we should prove that the second pair are equal. Or one opposite side, one pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel. So one pair of opposite sides, so for example, let, let us choose this pair. So this side and this side, they, they should be equal. First, first of all, we prove them equal. And the second thing, we prove them also the pa parallel. So the same pair, we prove it equal and parallel at the same time. Or you can choose this pair. This, this side and this side, so this, this, these two, uh, this, uh, this pair, you should prove it equal and parallel. So two things to prove. Or finally, the last method, diagonals bisect each other. So the diagonal of the uh, parallelogram, if we have this information about the diagonals that they bisect each other, meaning they intersect at their midpoint, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So if one of these four statements is correct, then you know that your quadrilateral is a parallelogram. It may be other than a parallelogram if we add some properties and we are going to see that later. Okay, so next we are moving up with our uh, map. So we know now how to prove a parallelogram. So we are going to build more on this map. So if we add on the parallelogram, meaning we prove that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram, okay, by using one of these four methods, and we add to it one right angle, it will be a rectangle. So if it was a parallelogram and then we make the angles right, it will be a rectangle. Or this is one way, or if it is already a parallelogram and the diagonals are equal, then it is a rectangle. So if the diagonals only bisect each other, then this informs me that the, it is a parallelogram. But if we have more information about the diagonals that they are equal, then it is a rectangle. Okay, so this is how to prove a rectangle starting from a parallelogram. We add to it some information and now it is a rectangle. But we can also prove a rectangle from three right angles. So no information about a parallelogram, none of these we have them as a given, but we have given three only this 
small sentence. So if we have three right angles, then it is a rectangle directly without moving into two steps. So this is, we know how to prove a rectangle, we know how to prove a parallelogram, and now it's time to know how to prove a rhombus. So also, building the map of a rhombus, we can start with a parallelogram, and then if two adjacent sides are equal, it is a rhombus. So you know, parallelogram, it is like an elongated rhombus because uh, the co uh, consecutive sides or the adjacent sides are not equal. So if it is a parallelogram, meaning we proved it is a parallelogram by one of these four properties, and we added to it that we have two adjacent uh, sides equal. Adjacent sides means this side and the side right just after that, okay? or perpendicular diagonals, then it is a rhombus. So, or, not and. Okay, so it's a parallelogram. Two adjacent sides, it is a rhombus. Or it's a parallelogram. Perpendicular diagonals, it is a rhombus. Or we can, uh, we can prove it is a rhombus by another way, which is starting from this small sentence here, four sides are equal. So we do not pass by the parallelogram state. We just say that, four sides are equal, it is a rhombus. And finally, our, ma our map has completed. So if we want to prove a square and we know that it is a, a rhombus, so if we add to it one right angle, then it is a square. Or if it is a rhombus and we add for it the diagonals are equal, it is a square. Or if it was a rectangle and we add for it two adjacent sides are equal, it is a square. Or if it is a rectangle and we add for it adjacent uh, diagonals are equal, it is a square. So you need like to to uh, to look uh, deeply into these sentences and remember that how the rhombus, the the, the form of the rhombus, كيف عم يتحول ويصير square شو صار فيه؟ جلس جلس يعني هو كان رومبس uh, إذا بتكون يعني it is elongated يعني مثل ما موجود أوكي okay. جلس حاله صار سكوير شو يعني جلس حاله يعني زبط الأنجل سبعة بطلت عندنا أنجل كبير وأنجل صغير صار عندي one right angle so it was a rhombus سكوير أوكي okay. or the diagonals are equal so you see parallelogram عنده the least uh, properties of the diagonals. Diagonals in parallelogram only bisect each other. In fact, in all the um, quadrilaterals, diagonals bisect each other. Okay, but in a rhombus, we have two properties of the uh, diagonals bisect each other and perpendicular. In the rectangle, bisect each other and equal. In the square, all of them are correct. So bisect each other, equal and perpendicular. Okay, so uh, can I, you also, you, you may imagine how a rectangle may be a square. So a rectangle also, it's elongated, okay, so the angles are still right. So two adjacent sides will be equal, it will become a square, or if the diagonals were equal, it will become a square. So if we are asked for something to prove it, directly as a square, you can start with this way, parallelogram, rhombus, then a square, or parallelogram, rectangle, then a square, okay? So uh, in your proof, you may say that, uh, you prove it and you say then it is a parallelogram, and you add something, you say then it is a rhombus, and you add something and you say then it is a square, or you just only state it. So for example, you say, we, uh, we, we have both pairs of opposites are parallel and adjacent sides are equal and right angle then it's a square. So it is a way of writing. You, you can write the steps that you have passed in or you just write the, the, the way the, the way that you use يعني الطريقة اللي استعملت بها لحتى تصلوا للسكوير. So just imagine this map every time you want to prove something and imagine this parallelogram is moving to a rhombus or the rhombus is moving to a square what happens to the diagonals and to the side square and it will be very easy to memorize them